In 1908, British activist Edith Margaret Garud, along with her wrestling and boxing instructor husband, ran a martial arts studio in London where they taught jiu-jitsu to women in the suffragist movement. Men were invited to stop by and challenge her. She had them wear a police hat, and then she would unleash her fury on them. Although she was just 46 years old and stood 4 foot 11 inches, she was able to knock these men flat on their back. Her classes became increasingly popular, helping empower women in the movement. Before long, they became known as the suffragitsu. While it seems strange, self-defense was greatly needed. Police were becoming more and more aggressive in their attempts to stop the movement. Together, about 30 little ladies formed a group called the Bodyguard to provide protection for their leader, Edith. They hid weapons like clubs and flower pots in their dresses and created armor with cardboard and cotton padding. These women were known to create scuffles on the streets, then zip back to the studio to hide their bats under the floor. When the police arrived, it looked as if it was just another exercise class. The media called these women the Amazons, and whenever Edith needed them to help out, they were there. On one occasion, these Amazons stood guard in front of the stage where Edith was giving a speech. Before long, the police descended on her. The women started pulling out barbed wire they had had hidden in their bouquets and tangled the officers. Now that you know where we've been, find out where we're going. Tune in to Ladies Love Politics, where you can stay informed without going insane.